I'm Logan Weeder. And I'm Rachel Hart, and this is Wolfpack News for Monday, September 8th, 2014. LifeTouch picture packages are in. Starting today, pictures will be distributed in the commons during lunch hours. Picture retakes are scheduled for Monday, September 29th in the PAC starting at 7 a.m. If you didn't have the chance to purchase a picture package during registration, you may do so then. Order forms are in the main office. The PSAT will be offered here at East on Saturday, October 18th. The PSAT is an optional test. If you'd like to sign up, to go to if you'd like to sign up, go to Student Services. The test fee is twenty dollars. Spanish Club will meet tomorrow in room J one thirteen to discuss future meetings and activities. Any questions? See Mrs. Chavaria. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Brittany. The 10th annual Crosstown Challenge football game will be held at OEHS on October 3rd. Pick up your Navy Long Sleeve Memorial Crosstown t-shirt at the Commons Concession Stand Before School, Tuesday through Friday, while supplies last. They are $15. That's the latest entertainment news. Now back to the Anchor Desk. The First League of United Latin American Citizens meeting will be held next Wednesday after school in room J107. If you have any questions, see Joe Sanchez or Daisy Oseguera. German Club will meet tomorrow from 2.40 to 3.45 in room J102. See Frau Hogg with any questions. Anyone interested in joining the National Art Honor Society? Come to a meeting tomorrow after school in room B270. Mrs. O'Mara Croft will pass out all of the information you'll need to join. This is open to any sophomores, juniors, and seniors who have taken or are taking an art class. Student Services is proud to announce the 7th Annual College Fair next Monday during the school day. All sophomores and seniors will attend. There will be 60 colleges and four branches of the military represented. All grade levels are invited to attend college visits that began this week through the end of September for Ball State, Notre Dame, Iowa Wesleyan, Ferris State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent State, and Truman University. See Mrs. Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. Sign up in Student Services for the National Hispanic College Fair to be held at Aurora East High School on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 10, 20 a.m. Explore scholarship opportunities and visit with other fit over 50 colleges and universities. French Club's first meeting is tomorrow from 2.30 to 3 in room J104. They'll be discussing activities for the new school year. And now it's time for sports. Here's Melissa. Congratulations to the girls' cross-country team for their performance at the TF South Invite on Saturday. The Fresh Soft team placed first and were led by Abby Flamersfeld and Amanda Bunkowski. The Varsity team placed fourth and were led by Abby Kane and Alexis Hens. Great job. The girls' tennis team finished in second place out of eight teams on Saturday. Jayer Hilo took first place at singles, as did Lena Huang and Lexi Blackman at doubles. Haley Klebanoff and Kirtana Koda finished second place in doubles. Come out and support the team against conference rivals Plainfield North on Tuesday. There's a mandatory boys bowling meeting at 2.35 in F233 today. Please see Coach Ochoa for more information. After school strength and conditioning resumes today, it will be regularly scheduled running Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 2.40 to 4 p.m. There will be a meeting and an open gym for any girl interested in playing basketball after school tomorrow in the K-Wing gym. Be ready to work out. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the anchor desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Logan Weeder. And I'm Rachel Hart. Join us again tomorrow here on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.